it's not the job of the natural philosopher, which is what they called scientists at the time, right. to deduce what God must have done. Instead, we must go and see what he, in fact, did do. So this idea of order combined with the idea of contingency, that nature was yep. contingent on the will of God, led to, first of all, the impulse to describe nature mathematically, but also to investigate it empirically, to look at it and, and study it carefully to see how God actually did make the world. Yeah, that's what contingency means. The fact is, is that there were many ways God was free to do it, and they believed that. And their job then was to figure out what did he do? Go look which, and find out, exactly. Which was one of the presuppositions that gave us modern science. You have to investigate. But yeah, there's so you, other. Have, you have three in summary. The idea of the intelligibility of nature, the idea of the order of nature, and the idea of the contingency of nature. And one other that kind of came to prominence during the period of the Reformation, right. where, where the reform thinkers rediscovered the doctrine of the fall of man and the realization that humans are fallen not only in their impulses but in their intellect such that we can easily jump to conclusions and, uh, um, and have biases. And so they were aware that our theorizing needed to be checked against experience. We needed to make sure that our ideas were not uh, a matter of subjective bias and that they really matched the world. So that also led to the impulse to investigate empirically.